Here you are, you should never fill a balloon with cream. It's a good job that Brum managed to save it. Well, now it's time for the story makers with stories today about fixing things. Come on into the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Byron Wordsworth. Jelly and Jackson. <laughs> Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come on, be a story maker. Come on, Ben. This way. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hi, story maker. I'm Byron. Byron Wordsworth, here to make some magic and lots of stories. The children left it behind. Oh, oh, what's in the box? Tools. The children were playing with them today. Tools? Yes, sir. What they do? Oh, we're there for building and mending and fixing. Oh, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. <laughs> oh, hello, oh, hello Byron. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, are you in a bit of a fix? Oh, no, no. We can fix everything, Byron. Yes, we've got some Oh, let's have a look at what you've got. Uh, we've got, uh, yes, and uh, yep. we've got, um, there, one of those. Uh, yep. Have a look, we've got a, a, a thingy. A thingy. <laughs> Byron, what do they all do? Oh, well, look, I know what this one does. Oh, I've dropped it. <laughs> it goes, <laughs> Oh, you've got it, Jacks. <laughs> That's a drill. You use it to drill <laughs> holes with. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, we have enough holes now, Jackson. This is fun. And Byron, what about this one? Oh, that, one that one goes bang, 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 bang. That's a hammer for banging in nails. I never knew tools could be so noisy. Hey, what about this spanner? Spanner? Oh, that's... Spanner! <laughs> that's right. Yeah. You use it to tighten and loosen nuts and bolts like this. Really? Uh, I thought Spanner was a dog. Yes. Mm. Uh, Kevin the Spaceman yeah. has a dog called Spanner. Yeah. Oh. Spanner? That's a funny name for a dog. <laughs> Maybe he helps Kevin fix the nuts and bolts in the spaceship. <laughs> ah, neat thinking, Jax. Mm. Ah, I think that should tighten them up. Um, Byron, can we make a story with the Spanner? Oh, no, no. No, no, you're not putting that spanner in the story machine. Oh. I need it to fix some things. Oh. But I wanted to make a story. Oh, we still can. There's plenty of other tools. Oh. oh what's that one? Ah, good choice, Miss Green. Oh. That's a screwdriver. Uh -huh. You use it to tighten and untighten screws. Like a spanner, isn't it? Mm, you could say that. So, can we use the screwdriver to make a story? Safe. <laughs> Jackson, what are you doing? Oh, I'm fixing the librarian's chair. Jax, mm. are you sure it needs fixing? Uh, oh, yes. Oh, oh. Oh, well, we're making a story, aren't we, Byron? Mm -hmm. Put the screwdriver -y thing in, please. And now we're going to need something from you. Are you ready to zap us with some imagination? Mm. Imagine, 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 imagine a story. It's a playbook. And it's called.
called Morgan Mends the Car. It was a cloudy day in Cardiff. Mum needed to go out. So did Morgan. Mum was going in her car. And so was Morgan. Mum waved goodbye to Nan and baby Bethany. So did Morgan. Mum tried to start her car. So did Morgan. Mum's car wouldn't start. Morgan's car started first time. Don't worry, Mum, said Morgan. I'll give you a lift. Mum tried to squeeze inside, but she was too tall. Mum tried to sit on the roof, but she was too heavy. Morgan tried to help her squeeze in, but it was no good. I'd better help you fix your car, said Morgan. So Mum put up the bonnet and looked at the engine. Here, Mum, try this hammer, said Morgan. But the hammer was too big to fix the car. OK, Mum, try this screwdriver then, said Morgan. But the screwdriver was too small to fix the car. What shall we use then, thought Morgan. Not the hammer, not the screwdriver. But how about the spanner? The spanner seemed to be working. Is that better? asked Morgan. Yes, it's fixed it, said Mum. Thank you, Morgan. My car should start now. Morgan got back in his car. And so did Mum. Morgan's car started first time. So did Mum's. Mum waved to Morgan and drove off down the road. Morgan didn't drive off down the road. He drove all along the path. All the way round the front garden and right up to his front door. Hello, Morgan, said Nan. Did you have a good drive? Yes, thank you, said Morgan. And I helped Mum fix her car, too. It's been a very busy morning. Uh, Morgan was clever, wasn't he? And helpful, too. Mm. He had a spanner like mine. <gasps> oh, Jackson, what have you done? Jax, my man. What? Oh, the librarian's not going to be happy with you. I was just fixing it. <sighs> No, we can't. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Jax. I'll fix it. Would you like to borrow my spanner? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You'll need that to fix these. Abra kazoot! Oh, oh, yes! <laughs> and I'll just work out how this goes back together. Oh, oh great! Oh, oh, what should we oh, build? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Byron magic this for me. Oh. Mm, look. Blue bits, yellow oh, bits, can't I help? <laughs> and nuts. Oh yes, you can help. And bolts. <laughs> oh, do the no, 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 no. That's my spanner. Oh. Hmm. Well, what can I do? Uh, well, I tell you what you can do. You can make a story. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Well, what shall I use then? One of these. No, no, no. I need all of it. All of it. Well, well, that's not fair. Well, I tell you what, Jelly, you can use one of the pictures. Look, there are some very nice ones. All mm. right, I will. Mm. Byron, will you help me make a story? Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, nice, juicy apple. Mm, <laughs> yummy. And will you help, too? Imagine a story with an apple in it. Mm. Imagine, 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 imagine a story. And it's called Blue Cow Meets Humpty Dumpty. In a field not so far away from you is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders. 
wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day in the field, Blue Cow was looking at the trees. Oh, I wonder what it would be like to eat an apple fresh from the tree. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place where there are apple trees, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for an orchard. And then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. Humpty Dumpty was in a tree, trying to reach a lovely green shiny apple. Stretch, wobble, whoops, ow! Oh. He fell out of the tree, splat! Oh no, I've broke myself again! Sighed Humpty Dumpty. He was in pieces. I'm Blue Cow. Are you all right? Oh, don't worry, darling. I'm Humpty Dumpty. I'm always breaking myself. Last week I fell off a wall. The week before that I fell off a camel, didn't I? Let me put you back together, said Blue Cow. She collected all the bits and pieces. This bit here. Oh. Uh, this bit there. Uh, uh, here. Oh, uh, and here. Hi. Finished. Humpty Dumpty didn't look quite right. Some of his bits and pieces were definitely in the wrong places. Oops, oh dear. Don't worry, my love. Try again, he said. Righty ho. Uh, left leg. Oh, uh, uh, right leg. Uh, uh, left arm. Uh, yeah. Right arm. Oh. Hmm. Try that. Humpty Dumpty stood up. Oh, brilliant. You fixed me. Now let's get those apples. And he started to climb the tree. Oh, uh, oh well, John, why don't well, you climb on my back? Uh, it's much safer that way. Oh, yeah, fantastic, said Humpty Dumpty. And up he climbed. Stretch, wobble, uh, wobble. Yeah. He picked two shiny apples. Gotcha. And climbed down. Thanks for everything, he said, giving Blue Cow one of the apples. Oh, you're welcome, she said. She took a bite. Crunch! Oh, delicious! You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to meet Tumpty Dumpty and I helped put him back together again. Everyone knows cows can't go around meeting Humpty Dumpty. But we know they can. Don't we? <laughs> Funny blue cow. Mm. She couldn't put Humpty together again, could she? <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall mm. eating a banana. Mm. Where do you think he put the skins? Down his pyjamas. <laughs> <laughs> How's the building going, guys? Oh, very well, thank you, Barry. And um, what are you making? Um, well, it's um, it's 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 a. Uh, uh, it's, it's a line. Hmm. A line. That's yes. not very interesting. No. Oh, well, it isn't just a line, is it, Jax? Uh, no. no. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh. oh, it's a square! Yes, <laughs> it's a square! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or is it just a square? Ooh. Um. I thought it was a square. Oh. It had four sides. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's <gasps> a magical star. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, the star! Clever! Oh, 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 could, could we use the star to make a story, Byron? Oh, yeah! Fine <laughs> idea, Mr. Pink. <laughs> <laughs> a pointy star in magic and story, please. Are <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Imagine, 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 imagine a story. Sniff and Wag story. I love Sniff and Wag. And the story is called Moon Kites. 
snip and wag are friends. When the day ends and the sky grows dark, they sneak into the park through a hole in the fence. Tonight it's windy, a perfect night for Sniff and Wag to fly their moon kites. They race to a hilly place in the park, two dogs with their moon kites beneath the stars. Oh, moon kites are magical, they glow in the dark, I can't wait to start. Wag barks, Sniff says, when a strong wind blows, just watch the kites go. Geronimo! Up, up, up they fly, glimmery, shimmery, fluttery moon kites, soaring and swooping and looping the loop. Hooray, the two dogs whoop. But suddenly, Wag lets out a yelp. <gasps> Sniff, I think I need your help. Look how far my kite has blown. It's tangled on a star and I can't get it down. <gasps> Careful, she yowls as Sniff gives it a tug. If you're too rough, the string might break off. Let's see, said Sniff with a thoughtful frown. We'll have to climb up and bring it down. They tie the end of the kite to a tree to make a tightrope. And then, up the line they go. Hello, says the star. Pleased to meet you. I'm so happy I've caught a moon. That's not a real moon, Wag groans. It's my moon kite and I want to take it home. But I've lost my twinkle, I've lost my glitter. I need your moon kite to help me shimmer, cries the star. You don't need a moon kite, says Sniff. Look at this dust. What you need is a spring clean. Leave it to us. They bring two dusters and polish and clean the star until it glistens and glows. Oh, I'm spotless and glistening, said the star. Thank you so. Now slide down the rope and I'll let your kite go. I love my moon kite sniff, says Wag. Thank you for helping me bring it back. Sleep tight, my little friends. Tomorrow we will play again. Yeah. <laughs> so Sniff and Wag fixed the star. Yeah. Well, yes, I suppose they did. Yeah. Can they fix it? Yes, yes they, they can. can. <laughs> oh, and Byron, did you manage to fix the librarian's chair? Uh, no sweat, Jacks. All in the night's work. Woo. Oh, but look, guys. It's getting late. Yeah. We better skedaddle. Yeah, <laughs> the children will be here soon. Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. Mm. We've made our stories, and we bid you Good goodbye. Goodbye. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, Come back story soon. makers, story makers. Thanks for helping. Bye. See you later, Storymaker. <laughs> <laughs>